I'm Scottish. I feel like that needs to be said before I go any further. Brigadoon is one that I knew was a bad film in terms of the accents when I was going into it. But I have to say the premise is really exciting and I actually quite liked the development of it. But the accents are are difficult. So this film was released in 1954, directed by Vincenti Minnelli and written by Alan J. Lerner. And I guess the main attraction for a lot of people is Gene Kelly. And the description from IMDb I think gives a pretty accurate overview. It says, Two Americans on a hunting trip in Scotland become lost. They encounter a small village not on the map called Brigadoon, in which people harbour a mysterious secret and behave as if they were still living 200 years in the past. That's thrilling. That is a lovely little fantasy plot. I really like that. The fact that we have two Americans travelling in Scotland means there's already a culture difference. And then when you throw in the fact that Brigadoon seems to be two centuries behind it's it's quite you know there's quite a really strong contrast there they play on it enough to make it obvious but it's not done so much that it feels really jarring and the narrative as i said is is nice it is a nice film it's a good fun film we learn obviously we learn about brigadoon at the same time as tommy and jeff do and as they're learning things, we're learning things, and there are a few little twists and turns, and it's really good fun, and I found myself being quite invested in this. I wanted to know more about Brigadoon, and why it's not on the map, and why it's, you know, what happens, and why it appears uh, so often. And I think it's great. The narrative, I have no problems. The plot was a fantastic premise, nice narrative development, the characters in it were all likeable or dislikeable as required. The only issue I have with Brigadoon <laughs> are the accents. I don't understand what they were thinking. These are some of the most abysmal accents that I have ever heard. And I can't say that there was not a single Scottish actor in this, because I don't know if that was the case. But I don't understand why they didn't hire a predominantly Scottish cast. Now, I assume that it's because there weren't that many Scottish actors in Hollywood in the 50s. But they could have put a little bit of effort in it, and I'm sure they would have been able to find some. If not for, you know, you know Gene Kelly in, in, in that role is great. But for some of the other characters, I think they could have done a much better job at casting but at the same time this is the 50s how many of the casting directors and producers had been to scotland obviously it's not as it's not the way it is today so maybe they had it you know maybe to their ears it sounded perfectly fine i don't know but to me as a scot it's sometimes i was laughing at it sometimes i was cringing at it it's up and down but it's not offensive I'm not offended by it as a Scot not at all and I actually you know I, I appreciate 50s Hollywood creating a film set in a, a, this we remote non-existent Brigadoon in Scotland I don't know what the film goers thought of Scotland before that I certainly don't know what they thought of Scotland after that but it's 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 a fun film the narrative's great and definitely watch it but just be warned that most Scottish people don't sound like that. I've certainly never met a Scot who sounds like that. Although one could argue Brigadoon, that could be the accent of Brigadoon. <laughs> that could be the argument, I guess. It's, it's unusual. It's not good, the accents. But the rest of it, really fine. Really fun film. Really like it. I will watch it again. There are some really nice performances in this. Just, you know... Take the accent with a pinch of salt.